Onto a fish on the cranky crab. It'll be my. <laughs> How's that? Little rimbo. Just picked it up. So we're out here just fishing with the little cranker crab uh, on the flats again. Actually, I don't think I've done a video with a cranker crab. Um, I was out here last weekend with one of my mates and got a decent sized broom on the cranker crab. Pretty stoked on it. It was my first decent one. So getting a couple of them on the cranker crab just rock, slow rolling it over the flats and then the broomage coming in and picking it up which is a new technique I've been trying and trying to get the hang of and see if it's a um, good little technique gets those big fish in and yeah let's get a few go I pick it up I believe it's a brim small one again Might be a whiting actually. <laughs> oh no, it's a brim. I was gonna say, it felt kind of like a whiting with its head. It's just a small one though, that's why. Feels like a much better fish. Don't know what it is. I think it's a flathead, which is kind of dangerous. Because he could have easily sucked down this crab. Could just be a brim though but I don't know not many brim thrash around on the surface like that guy just did yeah a little brimbo oh a bit bigger than what we've been getting but brimbo I just love this technique. It's just so easy. And you can just feel him tap, like pick up the claws. Oh, he's, he's a pretty good brim actually. This would be similar to the one I got last weekend. Like that hook falls out. He's a decent little brim. He'd be just above average of what we get on the flats here. Good little fly. Hey. He'd be around that 33, 34 mark. Awesome. Getting back. All I'm doing is like doing a slow wind and then pausing it. I want to do two um, rotations of the reel, maybe three, and then I just let it sit for a couple of seconds. One and two again. A couple. Of, sorry, I should say two or three again. Let it sit. 
And I'll just keep doing that. I'll keep my rod at like a 45 degree angle because if you angle it down, it's digging more into the sand. I mean, if you do that, you're probably going to get more sand shooting up and stuff. However, it's kind of digging down. It kind of looks unnatural because it's traveling a larger distance. Like if it was going straight down, it'd look like natural, but it's not quite doing that. It will travel like a six inches, whereas a crab digging down might go this far back. And look, just there, just like that. And this one's <laughs> this one's pretty good. This is actually a really decent fish. I, <laughs> I think this is flooded, honestly. I'll be pretty happy with the broom. I think it might be a broom. It's kind of doing that um move to the side thing let it obviously do it but usually the brim go a little bit faster when they're doing it it's kind of hard to explain but I'm trying to like just go easy on them because obviously on the flats I don't have to worry about anything getting um, like broken off on but uh, like last weekend I pretty much bent out a hook yeah, whatever this fish is it he definitely wants to get going. I've never had, and I don't think I've had many fish like want to go from one side over the other on the sandbars when fighting them. All of them always wanted to go out deeper either way. one which is quite funny because he went quite a bit harder. Oh, he's pretty good though, he's, he's a very nice brim. Oh, nice good quality brim. He's so thick through the shoulders. He's a stoink. We'll do. I'll get my camera out quickly. It's always quite a bit harder when um, you buy it yourself and you have to hold rods, nets, stuff like that. Absolute <laughs> chunk of a fish. I think he's about the same size as the other one, but he's just a lot better quality. He's really fat.